Essam Sama, thank you for joining me in the Tamimi studio. Glad to be here. Thank, thank you. you. Today we're going to talk about a topic that I think everybody's talking about, Expo 2020. It's finally here, eight years in the making. We all watched the amazing opening ceremony and I think it's a great achievement and testament to the UAE. Around 192 participating countries all coming together to talk about innovation, business and enterprise. So when we think about an event like Expo, Essam, why is it so important to the UAE and the MENA region as a whole? Well, it's a great achievement for the UAE and Dubai in particular. Uh, it's wonderful uh, organization and the opening ceremony is basically witnessed this as a good testimony for what they have done for over the last few years. Mm. But any uh, platform where we have people from different nations um, sit together, yeah. exchange ideas, and trying to basically work to develop their nations and their people and nationals. It's a great opportunity. Yeah. The Expo is a basically is, is, is an opportunity between nations that magnified mm -hmm. and multiplied in yeah. 192 country, yeah. being around a circle in a wonderful lo location mm -hmm. and a, in, a, in, a, in a location such as the UAE and Dubai, which is very central between East and, yeah. and West. And we find those countries uh, coming in, in to discuss business, leisure, tourism, and it's also a good eye opener for people to see what our great nation here and leadership has achieved over the last 50 years and have created something from a pure desert yeah. to what it is today. So it's definitely a, a wonderful opportunity for nations to sit together and exchange and visitor to come and visit the UAE. And I'm sure um, out of this, there will be many opportunities open for individuals, yep. companies, mm. and also for countries to, yeah. to, to work together um, uh, in a different directions. This is also coincide, and this is very important mm. on the environmental yeah. me meeting that's happening in, 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 in uh, yeah. Glasgow this year. Yeah. So I'm sure that discussion will continue over the next six months at Expo to be discussed among nations to see how they could basically help the environment. And climate is a big focus. It's one of the themes of Expo, so I completely exactly. agree. Many opportunities. Sama, anything to add? Well, I would definitely echo everything that Sam said. Mm. Uh, the fact that Expo opens its, its door during the pandemic yeah. in itself is a great achievement. Uh, this is not obviously an event for the UAE alone. Uh, it's a uh, success story to be told for generations to come yeah. for the UAE, but still this is a global event. Mm. The UAE is facilitating it, and the fact that they managed to bring 192 uh, yeah. countries under one roof, this in itself, if Very you could true. think of anything, yeah. you could think of opportunities that will be created under that roof. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I totally agree. It's fantastic. It's a fantastic opportunity. So I'm going to ask you something more specifically. You've been in the UAE for 22 years. You've helped many businesses set up from a corporate structuring perspective. There's tremendous opportunities and people attending Expo would need to know how to navigate the legal and business landscape. So what are some of the key considerations when doing business here? Well, one, one thing that uh, actually comes to mind when you think of uh, Expo uh, again, uh, uh, the UAE had always uh, taught us how to think big. Yeah. They always uh, had managed to reinvent themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't actually start somewhere and stop. Yeah. They would always keep evolving around things. And this is exactly the case with the corporate structures that yeah. they've created here. We started with very simple structures, uh, with uh, difficult processes to, uh, to set up, and imagine. that had evolved over the years, creating many structures, many options to attract investment. And again, not only to uh, attract these businesses to the UAE, the UAE always had seen itself as a hub yeah. for the region. And mm -hmm. this is the concept of the Expo, yeah. creating opportunities for uh, companies to, uh, across the region, mm -hmm through the UAE, yeah. this is the base, They're the facilitator and they, their main objective is to ensure that they continue to play mm. that leading role amongst all the nations that yeah. are uh, sure. in Expo. Correct. Correct. And I know obviously Expo is happening in Dubai and UAE is a big focus, but in terms of doing business and the structures across the region, are we seeing similar things? Is it as easy to navigate? Well, again, one of the differentiators for this region and what makes it really 
beautiful uh, to operate in mm. is the fact that it's highly competitive, mm. constructive competition, yeah. always for the good. Yeah. Uh, yes, all the countries are uh, trying to ease um, restrictions over ownership, to trying to attract more foreign investment to the country, They're becoming more and more competitive in their offering. Uh, our role had always been not only to support our clients to navigate the challenges across the region, but we're very close to the legislators as well. We've managed to influence changes in the legal community, again, to facilitate the FDI, and we've been very successful in um, influencing uh, those positive changes to uh, the legislation. Great. Essam, to conclude, obviously, Altamimian Company, over 30 years, this is home for us. We know the region very well. People that will be new to this market, they will have a lot of considerations to think about when setting up. There's a, a lot to navigate when we think about the, the legal frameworks and the regulations. How can a firm like Altamimi and Company support? As we've already heard about you know, corporate structuring and what our team has done there. Actually, what's happening um, in the region is extremely relevant to Altamimi. Mm -hmm. We've been around for, for 30 years. We have experience around the region. We have about um, we have um, uh, 18 offices in nine countries, mm -hmm. um, and we know the system there very well. We are actually in Altamimi. We are a mini expo. We have about 50 nationalities yeah. within, within our firm. Yep. Um, a, a blend of a mix of local lawyers from the cities we are in, as well as international lawyers, uh, to service our local and international mm -hmm. clients. But the changes that Samar was uh, referring to is actually helps a lot, yeah. lot as Al Tamimi. Mm. That's the the country, the region here is evolving. Yeah. There is a lot of deregulations on their mm. uh, system, attracting mm. foreign investments, mm. uh, making it easier to for for business to set up. This com competition and mm. the opening up of the region is actually a very healthy yeah. environment for investors, yeah. as well as uh, enable the UAE and Dubai in particular to be a real help to help to service the region even, even, even further. And us being positioned in the entire region will, will enable us to assist clients to make, to, to, set, to let them set up in the region, expand, yes. acquire business. And this is, has been a constant um, 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 mission for Altamimi to be able to service the clients, but also do our job within the cities and the countries we are in to trying to be par part of the economy uh, per se. And I think this expo, um, um, uh, is giving us a good opportunity to be able to link with the clients yes. to, uh, and to be able actually to show them on the map yeah. what opportunities that exist for them in the region yeah. and what's set up and we will be basically mm. and that's our job has always been mm. a favorable clients interest where there will be the best place for them to set up and where will be the best model for them to be mm. a, 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 a structure under yeah. and that's um, the deregulation that Samer uh, were referring to is giving us more tools and, and, and uh, different options to offer to clients. Yeah. Over the next few months, we will be actually be part of the expo mm. and to be able to learn something because yeah. we don't we don't only gonna uh, acquire an opportunities through this yeah, expo to, to expand, either. but mm -hmm. we're also gonna be able, able to learn a lot. Yes out of the 192 countries there yep. and will able, enable us to be stronger and, and basically hopefully expand even further in the region. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, it's a global event and I think it's definitely going to open up many doors. It's a gateway, yes, essentially. Exactly. So I think there's a lot to look forward to over the six months and beyond that. I think Expo's legacy will definitely go yeah. beyond that as well. And that's how we look at it. We look at it exactly what you just said. Mm. It's a gateway. Mm. Um, um, we are here and continue and this is through the expo we're going to find an opportunities yeah. and as well as for us to learn how to basically correct our path for the future yes. from different na nations yeah. and and i think one of the beauty of expo and the concept of it that different nations bring their own experience mm. some of high in technology yes. some of them in manufacturing yeah. others in tourism yeah. and that's basically is going to be a, a, a learning experience for yeah. different countries including ourselves and on, on the other side, we will find an opportunities to help some of those uh, 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 companies yeah. and their nations mm -hmm. to, to, to extend their business to a diff different market. Yeah. 
I agree. I'm really excited, actually. We too. We're in week one. Um, I haven't been to the expo site. I don't know if you've had the opportunity to visit, but that's definitely on my to-do list. And I'm, I'm looking forward to see how everything unfolds. I haven't, but I actually have it on my top, top, top yes. list. I'm just going to give the chance for others, others. to... It's to, going to, to be busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be here for the next six months. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely true. In fact, uh, it's something that we look uh, forward to, uh, yes. and uh, I can agree more with this. Um, this is not only for uh, the next six months. This mm. is for years to yes. come. Uh, there are lots of lessons to be learned, mm. uh, and we're we're very excited about the fact that uh, we have all this knowledge and, yes. and know-how yep. uh, concentrated yep. in in one place. And I'm I'm sure that with these opportunities uh, it will bring not only uh, like to uh, the UAE in fact mm -hmm. uh, or in the UAE alone but but hopefully to the yes. entire region yeah and there will be a legacy of this for, sure. uh, uh, for years to yeah. come yeah. Uh, the overspill of this events is, is going to go on for, for, for time and, and uh, I know what's happening in the region in the past, and I think mm -hmm. things doesn't happen just for that event only. Of course. It goes beyond. Yes, yeah. definitely. Well, first yeah. time in the Arab world, we have the expo here. Very true. And like I said earlier, eight years in the making. Thank you very much for sharing your insights. Thank I'm you. I'm really Thank excited to see us. what happens. Thank you for joining me in the studio. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.